Hello family, BL Carter here, affectionately known as Miss B. Um, wanted to talk this particular video, and again, this, this, not again, but this is, um, a remake. I've done this video, uh, one day this week driving as well. And, um, when I got ready to upload it, I just thought that the, the, the lighting was a little too dark. So, um, just want to do it again. This is something that has come to my attention recently as well. I've heard about it before, but in the content, some of the content is within my, um, some of the health videos that I did on autoimmunes and thyroids and endocrine system and stuff. But I thought this was important enough to do a, a separate video on this alone. So if someone is not listening to that entire, you know, hour long video, they can at least get the 10 minute snip or 15 minutes of this particular one. And I have um, my girls here with me. We were out and about taking care of some stuff. And I said, let me go ahead and do this real quick while I'm thinking of it. So what I wanted to highlight was the um, some of the changes people endure. More specifically, the voices when they're um, going through stuff. I've heard people talk about folk who have raspy voices or deep hoarse voices especially um women you know talking about a woman with a deep voice or a hoarse voice um and for those of you out there who are singers you know anything that affects your your throat your voice your your um your your voice box can impact your career but I, I pondered that for a minute because I know that's something I personally struggled with. I know several other people personally that have struggled with um, voice changes, oftentimes that came as a result of some sort of health issue. And um, what I noticed was people don't always take time to understand why someone's voice is what it is. Not that they have to explain it, because your voice is your voice. And if you don't like the voice, then just don't listen to the people. Um, but if you wanna know if you're interested or you just feel some kind of way and you're compelled to, to think about it, then ask them. You know, was your voice always this high pitched or this deep, whatever it is? And if they say yes, okay. And if they say no, and you wanna know more, well, do you mind telling me why? I mean, I'm interested to know because it's it's just a unique voice. I've not heard it before or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm thinking of one particular person that I know who this, actually it's a child. This child was born with, um, I don't know if the child was born with it or it developed like early, early on, but the child has some nodules on their um, larynx. And so I know the parents went through all the the testing and stuff like that to, to find out if the nodules were cancerous or, um, you know, how they would, if they were going to, any, anything serious with the nodules. And apparently they weren't. And I think, if I remember correctly, the doctors had offered some, they could surgically remove them, but they were taking a risk. And the risk was an inch to the, an, a centimeter one direction or another in the wrong way could render that child not being able to speak at all and having to speak through um, sign language or, or, or one of the, the um, you know, the speaker that you put to your, your, your throat to, to make the sound. And so, you know, they decided to leave the nodules in place since they weren't cancerous, they were tumors. They weren't cancerous and um, just deal with the person's, that child's voice. And I remember that child saying um, that they struggled in school because a lot of people didn't like the fact that they had that raspiness to their voice. Um, other people, I mean, you might have goiters or a goiter or it could be multiple. Um, thyroid cancer or, or any kind of cancers in this area will impact your voice. Um, 
people with thyroid problems, the voice is impacted. I know mine changed, mine deepens uh, the lower, the more hypo I am. And I fight, not fight, but I've got hyper and hypo working in my body all at the same time. Just because when I was diagnosed hyper, um, my doctors, well, it is what it is, it's not just my doctors, but they couldn't stop the hyper situation. That is what it is, and it comes from another one of the endocrine system glands and, and some other things. So the impact or the actual hyper stuff is still happening. It just doesn't affect my thyroid as much because that's been nuked away. But I still have the, com the all the stuff that's going along with it. And at the same time, because I have been nu nuked away, I'm hyper, hypo, and so I do have the, the voice changes. So my voice has gotten deeper. Um, I'm also told when, you know, women get to the menopause phase with the hormonal changes, their voice will deepen as well. Um, so I don't know how much deeper mine is going to get when that time, excuse me, when that time comes, but we'll see. Um, what are some of the other reasons I'm, I'm trying to think? I'm starting to kind of draw a blank here. Um, respiratory problems definitely respiratory we know with all the stuff that's in the air people are walking around with respiratory sinus problems left and right and that sinus and stuff is all draining into the throat so it's going to change um what's going on in there which means the voice may not necessarily be the same you know i mean we all know when we get sick we have a cold we have the flu we have you know upper respiratory infection, bronchitis, any any kind of stuff going on up here, our voices change. Um, so for all those people who may sound like they just woke up in the morning and it's like five in the evening, they've been up all day, it's probably something they have very little control over. And when we start to pass judgment on them talking about their voice, uh, you need to stop drinking. You need to go to sleep. You need to do what we're doing is we're we're um, labeling them. We're belittling them for something that they have no control over. Instead of asking, which would probably be a good thing. I don't know. I, I was always an asker. I just if it bothered me that much and I need to know that much that I need to make a comment, I'm gonna ask before I make my comment. Um. My, your voice is awfully deep or it's awfully high pitched and that opens the door for them to share how much they want to share and we may have some dialogue about it or we may not um, but what I definitely would not do is just automatically talk about how deep the voice is or how high pitched it is without knowing um, the back end story I guess if you will or enough of the back end story uh, talked about the rest between chemtrails, you know, that some things are coming down out the sky left and right, and they are impacting people's health. We've got flooding all over the daggone world, it seems like. And what I have noticed is every time that there is a, a major, there's major flooding, the people in that, that area get start getting sick afterwards. Um, you had, you know, the New Orleans situation, you had the Harvey situation in Texas, you have um, the hurricanes and the flooding in Florida and in other places. And after this, that massive water, nasty water is released and it's, it's just sitting at a standstill, it seems like, in the city for, you know, too long. You've got bacteria that grows, that bacteria gets into the ground, and once the water is gone, that bacteria is now taking over the ground. And so that stuff is coming up into the air and these people are breathing that. So that goes back to respiratory issues. So there are a lot of reasons why people's voices um, tend to get, to change, not get, but they tend to change over time. So just wanted to bring um, some light to that. Let's try to be mindful 
of why someone's voice might sound the way it sounds. If you don't like it, you don't like it and just move on. There's not a need to um, tell them you don't like it. There's not a need to put them down or belittle them or to denigrate them in any way for having the voice that they have. Most of them can't control it. Uh, and I know if I were a singer professionally and I had something going on in my throat, if singing was how I made my money, I would be sucking on lemons, drinking on hot water, drinking hot teas and all the other stuff to try to heal it before I went and did a surgery. So that being the case, I just wanted to share that. And, and again, just, just be more um, empathetic to people before we start uh, assuming and passing judgment because chances are you know like I said they can't control it and they probably feel some kind of way about it but they're learning to do life with that new puzzle piece added in and um, think about it is it really fair to snatch that puzzle piece back away from them you know or to twist it around where it's not really fitting into life now for them as well because they're getting verbally abused or assaulted I guess I wouldn't say assaulted but you know people are are finding fault with them for something that they don't have any fault in so keep that in mind let me know what you think uh, and just know that you know you're appreciated people actually would appreciate honesty and that but there is a way to do the honesty we don't have to be cruel with it um, I just think of that little girl and she's like elementary school saying about how the kids tease her for her voice and I know I've gotten teased about the different symptoms that my condition has, has given me from my voice to um, my eyes to even at one point I, I was you know losing a little bit of hair different body changes that are going on I've gotten more people um, find fault or negativity in me for stuff that was beyond my control so we're just mean and we've got to get away from that if we're ever going to get to a point where we can be loving with each other we can have um, more meaningful relationships with each other then we've got to stop being so mean and judgmental and start wondering and asking the right questions so that you can understand how a person got where they are and then encourage them to keep going encourage them to, to push on in spite of their new puzzle piece that's been added you know so that being the case like i said let me know what you think take care and we will catch you on the next one